I'm really sad. I'm really sad for no other reason than that I have PMS. I can't, I can't stay awake. Um, this is the most awake I've been all day. No matter how much caffeine I drink, no matter how much I sleep, I cannot, I, I'm so fucking groggy and I'm sad. And it's just that my fucking hormones are raging and my, and I can't have sugar right now and probably like added sugar ever again when I now look and realize like how shitty it was making my teeth feel and my body's like screaming at me to eat chocolate. Like I know that there are people in this world who don't believe that PMS cravings are real, but I literally feel like I could break into a bakery and fucking scream and cry and eat everything. Just thrash that shit. You know, I, that's how I feel. I feel absolutely crazed by PMS and um, I'm sad mostly. So I looked at my husband and I was like, I want to go shopping because I'm one of those people that doesn't know how to cope with things in a healthy way. When I'm sad, my brain is like, eat, shop, do things to give me a temporary rush of hormones that will make me happy for 2.8 seconds. And I was like, I want to go shopping for makeup. And he was like, okay, so go. Because if you've learned anything about my husband at any point in, in my time on YouTube, you've probably learned that he doesn't know how to tell me no. Um, I looked at him and I was like, I would love to go shopping for makeup, except that we are poor, you know, living the poor life. And he was like, well, tomorrow's payday, so just go. I love coping with things in a very healthy way. I'm in therapy. I've been in therapy for over a fucking decade. I take medication. I see a fucking psychiatrist. So this is me being treated. Just imagine how bad it would be if I weren't. It's 615. I was really, really hoping that I would miss like all the people being at the pharmacy after work, but apparently I didn't. They are so fucking packed. And I feel like every time I go to a pharmacy, the, 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 parking lot is packed and you get inside and you don't see anyone. It's weird. And I would love to go to Walmart because I know that I would pay a lot less, but I can't deal with the crowds and I can't go alone because my husband's on the clock right now. So here I am about to spend a whole hell of a lot more than I have to because mental illness, I guess. I don't fucking know. That's exactly what it is. I don't, I don't know why I said, I don't know. That's exactly what it is. Could you imagine being mentally healthy? <laughs> me neither. Sad bitch pharmacy hall. <laughs> Don't encourage me. I'm actually really excited about this. You Is my lipstick gone? You know, I did sit in my car and eat a Slim Jim while disassociating for at least, I don't know, 10 minutes. Oh, shit. Should I refilm my little entry there? No. It's fine. So remember a couple of weeks ago when I made that video of me standing in my bathroom and telling you what I smell like as a pour and I was like, I fucking love chuggy perfume. I love chuggy perfume. Like Viva La Juicy, that's my shit. Look what I found. Look what I found. For $10. I don't think I'm going to use the lotion. I might give it to my sister, but look. <gasps> And they had a shit ton of them left. And if they last and they mark them down more than 50%, I'm fucking going back. I'm coming back for you, baby. The packaging. I love the packaging. It almost feels wrong. I'm not going to rip Britney's face. I'm going to keep it. That's very hoarder of me. And that's fine. Look how fucking big the bottle is for $10. Oh my God, it smells like high school. It smells like being an adult and finally getting to get things you couldn't get when you were a kid. I really like her one in the dark pink bottle, too. Is this shower gel or lotion? I think it's lotion. Body souffle. Ooh, fancy. I also went ahead and I picked up some of this. And listen, it's the it's the e.l.f. Uh, Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I fucking love this stuff. Listen, every time that I say that I love something. And then I bring up the fact that the Welsh twins don't like it. Everybody's like, well, if the Welsh twins don't like it, then I don't like it. All I know, all I know is when I put this shit on my face, my makeup goes away. And at the, at the, at the end of the day, that's all that makes a fuck to me. It's like when people yell at me for using Neutrogena wipes. 
I wash my face after I use them, so why the fuck does it matter? I have had the itch to try this. It's literally just the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Lid Primer. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my Milani primer, but it's like when you use it, you kind of have to use a lot of it because secretly I'm four and don't know how to control my hands. And this has a little wand on it. And for days like today, when I don't have foundation on, I feel like it will be easier to use than that. And it was only $3. So hopefully I like it because I don't, it, like it was stuck in my brain replaying. I have to have some. I have to have some. I have to have some. So I finally fucking got some. I also rebought this, which I just bought this. And it wasn't dark enough. So I got it in a couple shades darker. Hopefully it will work. I don't know. If not, I'm just going to give it to my sister and chalk up the loss. I don't fucking know. I swear to God, I have the hardest time, the hardest time finding foundations that match me. I don't know why. I just do. I got some wet and wild eyeliner. A little $1 hauler, you know. Okay, I cannot pronounce this brand. I have a lot of stuff by them that I don't know. Like, my favorite thing by them is, like, their glittery eyeshadows. I think I have one right here. Yeah. These, like, glittery eyeshadows, they're, like, really good um, dupes for that one brand that I can't afford anymore. <laughs> but uh, I really like their glittery eyeshadows. Every time I've bought one of their lipsticks, I've gotten it home, I've tried it on, and I've hated it. But they had this bronzer, and I need a bronzer that's darker than the one that I have. So I decided to give it, give it a, a, a shot. Why not? $7.99. Why the fuck not? I think that's how much I spend on my e.l.f. contour palettes. But the thing is, like, the, like with my e.l.f. contour palettes, there's, like, one, one thing in the whole thing that... I can use and the rest of it, it it's useless because it's the same fucking color as my skin so I think for $7.99 for this and it's like a really really big thing like it's big it'll be worth it just hopefully the pigment doesn't suck and all that happy horse shit okay so this thing I don't it's the it's the Revlon uh, color stay semi permanent brow ink. It says it's supposed to last for three days. An alternative to microblading, laminating, or tenting. Now, this was the darkest color that they had there. I don't know if it's the darkest color that they have, but all they had it like in was dark brown. I'm wondering if this shit works when you don't really have brow hairs because I have a pathetic amount on my face right now, and that's them filled. That's them filled. So is this one of those ones that like grasp onto the hair on your brows? Or is this actually going to dye my skin? Because I would love that. I would love that. Except for if I fuck them up putting this on. And then I'm stuck with my forehead jacked up for three fucking days. That would be kind of shitty. One time I got bored and I ordered henna off of Amazon. And when I got it, I put brows on and I put fake freckles all over my face and it actually worked. Like it actually fucking worked. I just, that was probably the most thrilling and dangerous thing. Like the the, the biggest risk I've, I've taken in years. And it was, I don't hardly remember it, you know? The, the, the wires are burning in there. I almost started bawling my eyes out today because I couldn't remember my social security number and my phone number is starting to fade. And I keep leaving my car keys in the ignition. That's all a symptom of me starting PMS 20 years too early. Uh, I love life. This is the third energy drink that I have had in the last like five hours and it is the least strong one i've had um i had a bang a monster and now a fucking sugar-free red bull and i'm like all right bitch get this shit edited and get it up and go the fuck to sleep put on some spongebob and relax because we can't do this no more i am i am secretly happy though that my body is waiting because it's what is it december 29th yeah I, I am very, very happy that my body is waiting for the next month to start because I thought I was going to start like at the beginning of the week. Don't you guys love that I fill you in on my, on my fucking menstrual cycle? It's wrecking my life though.
It's literally fucking ruining my life. I do plan to take you guys to the doctor with me though. I have therapy in a few days, you're going. I have a psychiatry appointment in a few days, you're going. I have to go see a specialist about my retina disease, you're going. And tomorrow's payday and I'm going shopping and guess what? You're fucking 